My family, now Colin Campbell, calls herself a lady. Even though her husband dumped her after even less than a year of marriage. He couldn't stand living with Colin Campbell. He couldn't stand her one bit. And however, Colin Campbell still describes herself as a lady. Even though I would say that that is very, very questionable. Now my family, Colin Campbell, went on Dan Wooten's show. Whereby she made some very, very interesting revelations about what the royal family want to see happening. And my family, I want you to see this for yourself. And my family, you're going to see that everything even that I've been telling you, everything that I've been saying about the future that the firm envisions for Prince Harry is not one whereby Prince Harry is someone who is influential. My family, you are going to see this, my family, you know, yourself. And I want you to be able to, my family, you know, to see this. I want you to be able to, you know, my family, see this uh, yourself. So my family, please kindly look at this clip, please, my family. But if Harry can do a lot of solo stuff, there is the hope amongst certain people at the palace that when the marriage breaks down or breaks up, that'd be a better way of putting it, that Harry will have already created sufficient distance between Meghan and himself for him to be able to make a more graceful exit than if... My family, first of all, let me kindly just pause there for a second. My family, you've heard that what Colin Campbell has said. My family, she has said that clearly what people in the palace want to see happening is that Prince Harry, they want to see him putting as much distance between himself and Meghan. And that if and when the marriage breaks down and it is like they believe that it is going to break down. Colin Campbell says that they believe that if the marriage breaks down, that they're hoping that Prince Harry would have put as much distance between himself and Meghan. That he can make a graceful exit out of the marriage. Says Colin Campbell. My family. And even basically my family. In the video posted by Dan Wooten. They are saying that Roe family. Are already preparing. For Prince Harry and Meghan divorce. My family. I've always told you all this. Every time. You see Meghan. Being attacked. Every time you see Megan being bullied, every time you see this carnival of so-called experts lying about Megan, targeting Megan in particular, just know that they are following the orders from the top. Now, who are at the top? William and Charles. They are the only ones who have the power to sign off on a press assault of Harry and more so Meghan, which we have been seeing happening for quite a very, very long time. For years now. For many, many years now. And my family, you can hear the agenda of the royal family. You can hear what they really, really want to happen. They want to see a divorce between Harry and Meghan. And they are putting so much pressure. So much pressure. On Meghan in particular. They want her to leave Prince Harry. That's why Meghan is targeted the most. They want her to leave Prince Harry. They want her to be fed up with the bullying, with the abuse, with the insults, 
with the attacks on her constantly because she knows where all these attacks come from, from the royal family. They want Megan to say, I am done. I am tired. I'm sorry, but I'm tired. I give up. That is the point that they are trying to push Megan to, to divorce and leave Prince Harry. My family. And UK media have been talking so much about a so-called professional separation between Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And clearly, what UK media want to see happening, they want that separation to my family move to their marriage. Now, my family, what these people don't understand is this. A couple can have different interests. But remember, anything minute about Harry and Meghan, anything minute about Harry and Meghan is always amplified by the raw rotor. And they have an agenda to sell. And their agenda is that my family, Harry, is way much better off without Meghan. They are trying to get the public to see that. They are trying to, my family, you know, brainwash the masses that Prince Harry is way much better off, you know, away from Meghan. Because it is cruel. It is cruel, first of all. It is cruel to my family call for a husband and wife to divorce. And they do this every single day. They do this every single day. But UK media, they know what they're doing is cruel. They know what they're doing is wrong. They know that trying to break up a couple, you know, apart, to try to, to destroy someone's marriage is cruel and evil. They know it's wrong. However, they're doing it. And they're saying that, you know what? Harry is much happier without Meghan. You know, you see, when he goes out on a solo tour, I feel like, uh, you know, he's happy. He's doing so well. You know, my family, it's all a bunch of nonsense. That, that's, that's just what UK media want to see. For example, when we see Harry Meghan in Colombia and Nigeria, kissing, hugging, dancing, having a good time, enjoying themselves, doing good, touching the lives of other people, when we see that happening, UK media look for a photo of Prince Harry to further their agenda, to further their narrative that Prince Harry is unhappy. In my family, Prince Harry clearly is happy to be with his wife Meghan, and his kids. My family. Harry calls Meghan my lovely wife. My wonderful wife. But UK media. Oh, he's unhappy. He wants to go back to the UK. He wants to come back to us. He's unhappy with her. They don't understand that a couple come. My family have separate interests. My family. And that the two of them, my family, have things whereby they are very, very strong at doing. My family, for example, for Megan, she is my family good at uh, creating content. My family, you know, you know, being in my family, you know, series or movies. Megan is good at that. Megan is good at that. My family. She is my family good at, uh, you know, creating my family a lifestyle, you know, blog. Like she did at the tick before she met Prince Harry. The take which Megan turned into a successful business. And now Megan is working on American Riviera Orchard. Prince Harry, on the other hand, my family, is good at my family doing charity work, touching the lives of others, bringing a smile, joy to my family, you know, kids, like we saw when Harry was at the Well Child Awards. Harry is very very good at my family at that. Harry is very, very good at that. So my family, Harry and Meghan are playing into their strengths. But Tukey Media, they want to see a divorce. They want to see that there are cracks or issues between Harry and Meghan. And they want it to be the truth. They want all this stuff to be true. My family, because they are desperate to have Harry back in the raw fold. Prince Harry, outside of the raw fold, is getting all the attention. All the interest is on him. His work. When Meghan goes out, my family, like uh, she did, at the children's 
hospital LA gala event. My family, you know, there's this video posted by, you know, ET that garnered roughly 8 million views of Megan. And even to this day, Carnival of so-called experts, members of the Rorota, who are supposed to cover working members of the royal family, William, Charles, K. Camilla, to this day, they are still talking about Megan's red dress. Anyeki Moten, a couple of days ago, made her first ever appearance ever since my family, you know, you know, announcing that she was done with chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, my family. She made her first ever appearance with Prince William, but yet my family, UK media, are mostly focused on Megan. They are mostly focused on what Harry is doing. Even right now, my family, as you can see yourself, they are talking about Megan and Harry only. Ignoring William, K. Moulton, Charles, and Camilla. However, what they are doing is they're Showing us exactly what even the farm want. Because even the farm are still thinking about Harry and Meghan. About them being outside of the raw fold. About them not being able to control Prince Harry. And they are not happy. They know that they don't want Meghan back in the raw fold. They know that. They don't want her back in the raw fold at all. They just want Harry back. My family. And you're going to see and hear the motive behind that. It is what I've been telling you openly for a long time. And you're going to see it for yourself. Everything that I've said, my family. Even calling Campbell herself, my family. You know, you'll hear what my family she's saying. So, my family, can you please hear, you know, this. the My family intention they have on Prince Harry. A duo at all time and so I think to an extent whatever happens he's he's not going to ever again be a heavy hitting royal or but it suits the royal family and it suits whatever happens he is not gonna be a heavy hitting royal now what are they pushing they're pushing for a divorce between Harry and Meghan. And then Colin Campbell tells you, whatever happens after that, Prince Harry will not be a heavy-hitting royal anymore. Is that not what I've been telling you for a long time? Is that not what I have been telling you for quite a very, very long time? My family, hear this again. Hear this words again. A duo at all times and so I think to an extent whatever happens he's he's not going to ever again be a heavy hitting royal or he is never again going to be a heavy hitting royal what have I been saying what did Jeremy Vine say a couple of months ago that I showed you all in this uh, channel Demi Vine said at the time, even if the firm succeeds in getting Prince Harry back, do you think that they'll use him, make him go out and do my family engagements? Jeremy Vine said, clearly, they will bench him. They will bench him. They will bench Prince Harry. They will keep him where my family, he cannot be seen. Whereby he's out of the public limelight. And what is Colin Campbell saying? She's saying that Prince Harry won't be a heavy hitting role anymore. While talking about divorce. My family. And what have I always been saying this in this channel? What have I always been saying? I've been saying that that is the agenda. Harry and Meghan together. They have a powerful brand. They are a powerful couple. UK media, no matter how many times they smear Harry and Meghan's names, no matter how many times they, they, they besmirch Meghan or Prince Harry, 
my family, for as long as Harry and Meghan are together, they are a powerful couple. And wherever they go, they will always grab the headlines. However, separate Harry from Meghan and Meghan from Prince Harry, just as Colin Campbell has said, Prince Harry will not be a heavy hitting royal anymore. To my family, you can see that that's what they're pushing for. Undermining the spear, deeming the spear star power, because someone in the royal family is clearly jealous of Harry and Meghan's joint star power. It's why William went so hard after Meghan. It's why he went so hard after her. It's why he's still going after Meghan. It's why UK media is still targeting Meghan. They know Harry and Meghan together are a powerful couple. William and Kate got jealous when they saw the immense star power Harry and Meghan, my family, clearly have right after even they got married. Harry and Meghan would go on a foreign tour. Australia, Fiji, crowds would gather. Crowds would gather to see Harry and Meghan. People would not go home at night until they saw Harry and Meghan, my family. And we all could see that. We all could, my family, see that. What do you think that made people in the palace feel? It made William and Kate extremely jealous. And they took out their anger on Meghan. That's my family even when, even Harry said himself. Things became much more difficult after that tour. The smear campaign against Meghan was in full overdrive. If the palace was holding out right after that tour, that Oshania tour, my family, the smear campaign on Meghan increased drastically. Because someone at the palace, William and Kate, we see you, Charles and Camilla, we see you, were jealous. But mostly it was William and Kate who were extremely jealous. Mostly it was William and Kate Moulton who were extremely jealous. So my family, you know, it's all about deeming the spare's power by divorcing him from his wife, by pushing so much, putting so much pressure on Harry Meghan's marriage that you're trying to make, you know, Meghan leave Prince Harry. So my family, that is what is going on. That is what is happening. And you've heard that yourself. You've heard that yourself. And my family, there is more. I have always told you all that the people who have never been able to accept that Prince Harry married a man of color, who right now, as you can see, are pushing for a divorce between Harry and Meghan, are never ever going to forgive Prince Harry for marrying a woman of color. They are never going to forgive him. My family. Never. Kindly please my family. You know, hear this. Uh, kindly my family please. Let me just uh, play you this from uh, Colin, my family, Campbell again. He has poisoned it to the extent that the family, I don't think the family relations will ever be the same ever again. But if I don't think that the family relation between Prince Harry and uh, William and Charles and Kate and Camilla will ever be the same again, says uh, Colin Campbell. And my family, it's true. It is very, very true. It is very, very true. It is never going to be the same ever, ever again. The firm meaning William and Charles, are hell-bent in destroying Harry and Meghan's marriage. It's all they think of all day. It's all the minions think of all day. You know? I don't think they think about anything else other than trying to separate Harry from Meghan and Meghan from Prince Harry. And I told you all this concept. The people who love Prince Harry for protecting Meghan, you know, taking care of Archie, Lilibet, those who have watched the Harry and Meghan documentary and understood Prince Harry, that as a father, as a husband, he had to do everything in his power to protect his family, 
the people who support him for that, for what he did for Megan and Archie and Lily Petana. I'm family now Lily Petana because now they have, you know, Lily Petana of how he keeps on protecting his family, of how he keeps on choosing Megan, Archie, Lily Pet over Yuki Media, over William, over Charles, over Kate, over Camilla. The people who love Prince Harry for protecting his family are never going to forgive him if he divorces Megan. Never. And the people like Angela Levin, you know, Colin Campbell, Dan Wooten, those members of the Rotter, trolls online, who have never been able to stand that Prince Harry fell in love with one of color. And then when they asked him to choose, he chose Meghan and Archie over them and never going to forgive him for that. And that's how you destroy the spirit. That's how you deem this, the, family, you know, the light, the star power of the spirit. And that's what Family UK Media are uh, trying to push for by calling for a divorce between Harry and Meghan. They want to deem the spare star power to prop up his brother, Prince William. To prop up Prince William. My family. You know? By now, if people can't see what's happening, I, I, I honestly don't know how to help you. In Harry's words, I don't know how to help you. As Harry said, if you cannot see what's going on, then even I can't help you. Harry and Meghan's brand is strong when they are together. And that's why even right now this makeup is ongoing. Because still, my family, Harry and Meghan's light is brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. There's so much interest in both Harry and Meghan, my family. That's very, very clear. Harry and Meghan's star power is immense. That's very, very clear. And no matter how many lies UK media come up with, the fact is Harry and Meghan are a powerful, influential couple. People want to be around Harry and Meghan. No matter how many times UK media keep trying to isolate Harry and Meghan from people that they're close to. Remember, anyone who supports Megan? Anyone who is even seen with Megan is targeted by UK media and trolls my family online. My family remember that. Why? Because the firm ordered UK media to go after anyone in Harry and Megan circle. Anyone. That's what bullies do. They want to isolate their victims from people who are close to them. And that's why anyone who is seen with Megan. Anyone who even praises Megan is targeted with so much abuse. And it's so sad to see this happening. It's so sad. My family. But as we've heard from Colin Campbell, my family herself, things are never going to be the same. Never. They just want Harry back. Not because they miss him, but because they need him to be inside the gilded cage. Because outside, he and Megan already are eclipsing, have eclipsed all the other members of the royal family back in the UK. The interest is always on Harry and Meghan. But if you succeed in forcing Harry back to the UK, in forcing Harry back to the royal fold, it means you can be able to control his movements. Oh, and something also got to my, 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 my family. Something also got to my mind my family. It's about security, for example. Why did Charles take away Harry, Meghan, Archie security? Number one, he wanted to bring Harry onto his knees by endangering the life of his son. One of the reasons as to why Charles won't lift a finger to give back Prince Harry, you know, and Meghan's police protection is because he knows if he does that, even he won't be able to control Harry's movements in the UK. If Harry does want to come over for a visit, he won't be able to control Harry and Meghan's movements in the UK. Now imagine if Harry and Meghan come to the UK together and then do a walkabout together. And then public, members of the public, cheer on Harry and Meghan. And then Harry and Meghan 
amass crowds that no other member of the royal family can, can acquire, that will be hugely embarrassing to Prince William's ego. It will bruise William's ego. So the royal family prefers to avoid my family those scenarios. My family. By still holding, you know, this matter having to do with, you know, security as a kind of bargaining chip against Prince Harry. Whereby they don't want to give it to him, my family, because also they know if they do, it will be even more impossible to control Prince Harry. His movements, where he goes to, my family, where he wants to visit, it's going to be impossible. And the firm who want control over everything having to do with Prince Harry, William, who wants to control his brother, doesn't like that and does not want that at all. My family, William does not want that at all. And that's why they'll do everything in their power to keep Prince Harry from getting what he wants. That's why even Charles does not want to see Prince Harry. Multiple carnival of so-called experts have said that Prince Harry wants to ask Charles for security to reinstate his IB status and Charles doesn't want to hear any of it. It's about controlling the spare. It's about controlling him. The spare. My family. And the family is doing everything in its, power, in its power to try and control the spare. Number one, by trying to remove Megan from Harry's life. Because they know even for as long as Harry is with Megan, they also will not be able to control him. My family. They also will not be able to control him. Remember that uh, Prince William would go on record and say that I have psychological power over Prince Harry before Harry met Meghan. He would go on TV and say, uh, or my family on radio and say, I have psychological power over Prince Harry. Can he say that my family has power over Prince Harry right now? He can't. But of course he wants to have power over Prince Harry. He wants to control him. My family wants to control Prince Harry. Now my family, this must never ever happen. This must, uh, my family, never ever happen. It must not. My family, so can you please, my family, continue, you know, hearing this, uh, my family, please, uh, kindly, you know? A duo at all times. And so I think to an extent, whatever happens, he's, he's not going to ever again be a heavy hitting royal or, but it suits the royal family and it suits the British political scene to have him being less of a pariah. It doesn't matter about her, she's expendable, but he's not so easily expendable because he is royal. Yeah, My family, I mean... you've heard that yourself. For them, they want Megan out because she is expendable. She is expendable. Remember that the women who marry into the royal family, especially if you are not loved by your spouse, you are expendable. You are expendable. The issue the firm has here is that Prince Harry loves his wife. But my family, you know, they want that... Uh, Love to end because they want Harry back and they want Megan out of Harry's life. It's all about control. Even you can see it yourself. It's all about trying to control the spare. Harry is not expendable because my family, he is a blood royal. He is not expendable. But to them, Megan is. If you succeed in splitting Harry and Megan apart, you dim the light. That's what the firm believes, my family. That's what the firm believes. And that's what they're working on. And continue working on. Every single day. For years now. That's what the firm have been trying to do. To separate Harry from Megan and Megan from Prince Harry. To get Harry to divorce Megan. Or Megan to say, I've had enough of the abuse, the bullying, the insults. I'm leaving. 
let's get a divorce. That's what they're trying to get Megan to by continuously attacking her, by continuously bullying her. That's what the farm are doing. You know, my family. It's all about controlling the spear. It's all about controlling who? Prince Harry. Prince Harry. My family. And there's a fight going on to control him. There's a fight going on to control him. UK media want to control him. The farm want to control him, my family. They all want control over this over the life of the spear, over his future, over his destiny, my family. And as you've heard yourself, my family, as Colin Campbell says, Harry won't be a heavy hitting role anymore. Because that is the destiny that they envision for Prince Harry. Whereby William is the one who is more popular than Prince Harry. Where my family, Harry's light, his star power has dimmed. While William shines brighter and brighter and brighter. While William's star power, his influence grows before he becomes king. My family, that's the destiny that the, my family you know, are planning for Prince Harry. So my family, you know, you yourself can make your own conclusion, family. You can, yourself can make your own, you know, my family conclusion here. And I always try to, to show you things and back up what I'm saying with evidence. And you've heard even Colin Campbell's own words of what they want to do to Prince Harry. They don't want him back because they miss him or they love him. Of course not. Number one, they can't stand that they have no access to Prince Harry. They can't stand that even right now, Harry is still the most popular role in my family. They rarely focus on Bruce William. They are always obsessed with both Harry and Meghan. However, they do know that if they deem Harry and Meghan's life by, you know, getting Harry and Meghan to separate, then maybe they succeed in their quest. My family, maybe they succeed in their quest to my family deem Harry's light to prop up Prince William. So my family, in the words of Tony Morrison, if you can only stand when someone else is on their knees by destroying someone else, you've got a serious problem. And William and UK media, they all have a serious problem. A serious problem. And my family, when you hear all that also, please also remember this. UK media also have shown some kind of interest on Archie and Lily Petana. They have shown some kind of interest on Archie and Lily Petana. So they want Archie, Lily Petana, to come back for what? To be scapegoats also for William and Kids Kids. To continue this cycle of torture and suffering, my family. Whereby you can maybe apply so much pressure or go for the person that you love because they don't want to see you happy. Because they can't stand seeing you happy. And my family, Truth be told, William and Charles can't stand seeing Prince Harry happy. They can't stand it, they can't stand it, they can't stand it. And it is sad. It's really so sad. It is so sad, my family. Now, I want to hear your opinion on what we have uh, just discussed, my family. You've heard the agenda here. As I've been saying for a long time, they don't want Harry back because they miss him or they love him. They just want him away from Megan because they want to dim his light and then bench him. My family will buy, you know, he can't do my family and roll duties anymore. They will remove him from the public limelight to ensure that he is no longer a threat to Prince William. My family, whereby Prince Harry cannot eclipse Prince William. And that's why they are so desperate to have Harry back inside the gilded cage. My family, I hope, you know, Harry never ever returns to that life. Because that life is not a good life for him. It is not. It is not a good life to him or for him. And I feel sad because it's like every single year, it's like I feel like he's being dragged back to the UK. You know, every single time, every single time. And I feel like that's a big, big problem. A big, big problem. You know? But then in family, we must trust Prince Harry that he knows what he's doing. And my family, he's the one who makes decisions pertaining to his family, to Megan, to Archie, to Lily Petana. And we must believe 
the Prince Harry will always do what is best for his family, for Meghan, Archie, and Lily Vidana. And Prince Harry has shown us there is nothing he won't do to protect his wonderful family. And my family, you know, may God bless him, Meghan, Archie, and Lily Vidana, my family, so much. And may, all, may the firm's, you know, evil desires to Prince Harry never, ever succeed. May the firm's wishes of seeing Harry and Meghan divorcing may never, ever work. So please, let's keep on praying for Prince Harry and Meghan. And keep pushing them the best. You see what they want. You see the firm's, you know, plans, what they want for Prince Harry. They don't want him back because they miss him. Or they love him. They want him back because they want to control the spear. My family, so right now I want to hear your opinion on what we have just discussed. May God bless Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Bedana and Doria Raglan. And all of you, members got at home, hate never wins, love wins, and stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. And may God bless each and every single one of you. And may no weapon for against Harry, Megan Archie, and also Lily Bet Diana ever prosper. And also, there's one big miscalculation that Colin Campbell is making here. Just one more thing here. Whereby she talks about, you know, Harry and Meghan distancing themselves from each other you know, in, a, in a divorce. First of all, Harry and Meghan can never ever be truly 100% apart like how UK media want to see happening. Why? Because of their children. Archie and Lilibet Diana will forever bond Harry and Meghan. Will forever Bring Harry and Meghan together. Even if UK Media succeed and get what they want. To get Harry and Meghan together divorce my family. Even if they succeed. Even if the farm, William and Charles, get what they want. They can never ever truly 100% separate Harry from Meghan. And Meghan from Prince Harry. Why? Because of Harry and Meghan's kids. Prince Archie and Princess Lily Badana. And I hope... That the firm, William and Charles and UK Media, who are pushing or putting so much pressure on Harry and Meghan, whereby they're trying to get them to, to divorce each other. I hope that they never ever succeed in this evil plot against Harry and Meghan, whom God has put together. Let no man or woman ever separate. Harry and Meghan are together. It is high time that the firm and UK Media respect Harry and Meghan's marriage and Harry and Meghan's union. Once again, stay tuned for the next video. Love you. Always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love, Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zuko Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.